My name is Connor Shanahan, I'm 15, and this is my professional drift car. Drifting is my life, and I want to prove to myself that I can come on top this season, beating the strongest drivers in the European Superstar Series. But it's not going to be easy. One of my strongest rivals is my brother Jack. Yeah, your older and more talented brother. <laughs> Together we are going to take you behind the scenes of our journey and expose the highs and lows while travelling as a family throughout Europe. And of course, have some fun along the way. It has taken a lot of family effort to get where we are today. Our family has put everything on the line. And we are not stopping here. History is the baby! You're watching The Shanahan's. just woke up and it's the day after Drift Games round one and straight back to work. Jack's car is on the lift I think. Um, but yeah, the event for me went great. Like, we were in a borrowed car, the Murray Motorsport PS as the car I was supposed to drive for the full championship wasn't ready but, but we had fun. We got to the top eight and we went out with diff failure unfortunately. But these things happen but yeah, um, what we're most pumped about is Jack uh, building a brand new GT86. Goes qualified second and has to Retire from the event after mechanical failure in the top eight, which is just something simple. Um, I gotta see what's wrong now. Gonna see can we get it sorted. But yeah, um, well it's quite bright out. But yeah, everyone seems in a good mood in the garage. The music is on. Um, yeah, so let's go check out what they're up to. See can we get this problem sorted. And we need to get a lot of work done to my S15 too before Austria. <laughs> Mama, you've just begun. <laughs> and the we are <laughs> It is the day after our first shakedown in the GT86. Um, we had a couple of issues. Uh, the biggest issue is that Connor has still not figured himself out. <laughs> we had a little bit of a vibration through the drive train. We've been trying to figure that out. Um, so we had the gearbox out and checked everything, but it's all good. So we're gonna, it's all bolted back in now. We just need Connor to do a little job inside on a few bolts and then we are just going to give it a little run again and see what it's like and try to get the mechanic to sit into the car so it's not just one opinion so yeah hopefully we can get it all sorted and figure things out how's the car doing yeah uh fucking mint for a out of the box car i think just some minor things uh, that we have to fix and take the first spin now see if we get it all dialed in and should be ready for austria how many hours of sleep did you have this week what sleep <laughs> but uh, has Flo been helpful so far? Yeah, big time. We will be last without him this week. He's stayed up like all week trying to get this car done. And that's why we were kind of also happy that it worked out of the box. Like, just we're lucky there's just so many good people around us to get the job done. And yeah, we're just happy now. We just need to get some more work done. And Jack's gonna put it on the podium soon. So. Mm. We were working here like through the night with I think six guys. Yeah, in, like through the night Sounds all night. Crazy. And then at some point, I was at my point, we better start loading the van and loading the, the car up now. Yeah, it would be too late. And down. On Friday night, which was like Saturday morning, me and Jack went to bed at like two because we needed to drive the next day. And when we woke up, which was like Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just heard this car start to get driven on the truck and load oh. the van with all the stuff because they've been up all night getting it done. So just so many small little things are the things will take most time. So. But yeah, definitely lucky that there's so many good guys around. You're gonna let me drift around the yard if it works. Whose idea was that? Right, Whose idea was it? Right, Whose idea was it? It's a bad idea, no? It's a bad idea. What? It's not my idea. I don't damage cars. Look at Jack. Look, he did one event. Watch him. Go. 
Smash the door. Time to win. Yo, those fenders are jacked. See? And he, he says, I'm going to break the car. Uh, there's one there. Uh, Overall. Like, overall, by like how the car went, this stuff was unbelievable. Like, the first lap out of the box, like, just like massive flick and just everything worked, like, you know, so I was happy with that. Um, we had like, we had like one or two issues, but like, they were like before we even got in track, so like, it didn't even make a difference as to like what was actually going on. Um, I feel like yesterday you were still a little bit unsatisfied though, like, even though, like, uh, it was probably just like the like all the hours we like didn't get to sleep, <laughs> yeah. and uh, it was just like by the end of the weekend we were just like completely emotionally drained. Yeah, um, it just felt like a little bit of a letdown uh, to the team mm -hmm. for something to go wrong, and uh, like everybody worked their ass off all week. It would have been nice just to like prove a point that like but they had done a good job. Honestly, I think you actually did prove a point, bro. Like out of the box works no serious issues and i feel like it's a mature thing of you to just pull out and say you know what the yeah. car's not feeling right yeah like it was definitely a sensible decision because usually i don't ever stop and then it's costing a little bit more than a shot to repair yeah um which is not great either yeah and it puts us under pressure and stuff between round round and because it was like we were taking it as like a shakedown anyway so yeah we kind of got the stuff that we needed to figure out, mm -hmm. figure out, so, like for, like we didn't even get a chance to like proper like set up the car, like so now the flow has to go how we want to like dial in grip and like get the car to actually like work with me, that's yeah. where like I was kind of working the car the weekend, so like if we can start working together, like as I say it takes two to tango, like so I can't wait to dance. <laughs> uh, we need to take it for a spin and the flow is going to sit in to see if he can hear like what the problem was that I heard yesterday, so. Hopefully it wasn't in my head. Uh, there's a good chance it might have been. I might have just been freaky out and a bit paranoid, but uh, hopefully we'll know in a couple of minutes see what happens. Start it up, bro. Give it a gears. <laughs> Oh, we just proved them wrong. <laughs> Must be the drivers. Three hours later. <laughs> Let's see what is going on with the Shanahan's. I'm guessing they are in the other garage setting up White Fab on Connors S15. Let's go check out. Delivery man. 
I'm four years old. Okay, four. Did you shave? You're so nice and smooth. I'm always nice and smooth. Oh, you're all good part. What's up? The stance shocked around now, and uh, some of the version two ways. I was on the front. Mm -hmm. Before Flo flies back to Amsterdam tomorrow, he is going to make the soap print for me for the version two steering rack. Nice. So once that's done, the front will be complete. The winter's in the back soap print now, and the stance are the shocks are laying in it. So to pull the rest of the way, so I have arms on it, and then the whole car is rolling. Mm -hmm. frame is all in place now thanks to Flo and yeah that's a wrap for today uh, I'm quite tired now it's been a busy weekend and wasn't to bed very early last night it was quite late so yeah quite tired it's time to call it a day see you guys soon